Yeah. You also talk about the importance of admitting mistakes in ministry, which I learned years ago is one of the best ways to actually um, increase people's trust and confidence in you, even though it feels like it should do the opposite. Talk us through that. Why is it so important to admit our mistakes when they happen? Well, I I think first of all, it it humanizes you in in people's eyes. I, you know, I'm not sure what it is about when you have the title pastor that people have these ideas uh, about you. You know, I, I don't know about you, but when when I w- first became a pastor, people would come to me and they'd ask me medical questions. They'd say, "I'm thinking about buying this car. What do you think yeah. about it? I'm thinking about making this real estate deal." And and I'm like, I. Why, why are you asking me? Like, yeah, I, you yeah. think all of a sudden because it says pastor in front of my name that I'm an expert in all of these topics. But but I think that that's what happens is that people have this uh, false idea. And when you say, sorry, I messed up here, or you say, you know, I think the reason why I messed up in this area is that I'm not very good at it. I'm not, I'm not wired to do this. It gives other people a chance to use their giftings. So, you know, I... I'm not very good at kind of the uh, administration of like crossing the T's, dotting the I's, filling out this form and that sort of thing. And so there was times that I'd miss a filing. This this form needed to be filed or submitted by this time. And I totally forgot because it's just, you know, it's not what I do. Hey, I apologize. Um, we got a $15 late fee because I didn't file this thing. And then there's a lady in my church that said, I absolutely love doing that stuff. Let me take that over for you. And, yeah. and it freed up some of my time and it was something right in her wheelhouse. She loved doing that. So it, it humanizes you. And I think it opens up the possibility for other people to say, Hey, that's where I'm gifted. That's, that's what I love doing. Let, let me step in there and come alongside uh, in this ministry, which gets more people in ministry. And it, you know, we were just talking about Sabbath thing. Okay. That's something now that I don't have to uh, have on my plate since I'm not good at it, it's very draining for me. Now I don't have that draining me anymore. I've got the time to uh, be refreshed in that, that space instead. Yeah. At this point, as, as we've been, as I've been reflecting back on everything we've been talking about so far, how much of what we're talking about and the mistakes we make are because we're being driven by guilt and Uh, how many of them we would make better decisions on if we were able to alleviate, just lay aside the the guilt motivation that so many pastors are 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 operating under right sure absolutely yep i feel yeah. guilty because i haven't measured up to this or i feel guilty that i dropped the ball here or i feel yeah absolutely i think guilt is a huge uh, driving factor that uh, if people could set that aside there there would be a lot of freedom 